Hi guys, today what we are going to do is um, we are going to make a card, a 3D flower card. Okay, so let's see how, uh, what are the things that we need for this. We need um, a paper to make the, uh, the base card, then, then we need paper, we need to cut out some of uh, the, the flower. For that also we need another piece of paper okay so based on um how big you're going to make the flowers uh, you'll need the size of the paper will depend on that okay so um you can use colored paper for this if you have colored paper at home if you don't have colored paper at home uh, you can use a white paper and then color it so um and coloring again you can do if you have paint at home um, you can go ahead paint the paper on both sides because uh both sides would be you you will see both the sides okay so let's see um okay i haven't told you guys what are the other things that we need we need paper we need scissors glue stick and some coloring material if you're not using a colored paper right so let me show you uh, what to do in case you are not using a um, colored paper so you can either use paint and paint the whole thing and turn uh, wait for it to dry and <laughs> paint the other side okay that is uh, one way you can do it if you don't have paint if you have only crayons at home you can use the crayons and color the, the thing just like I sh told you guys, okay, choose whatever color you want for the flower. I'm going to use red and what I'm going to do is I need to color the whole thing on both sides. So it would be easier if it was paint, right? Because with paint you can color super fast, but it's okay. We can even work with crayons if that is what you have for in hand if you have um, markers if that is the only coloring material that you have I will show you a trick to color with that also okay because it will be difficult to color a bigger area with markers so let me first finish this first and then I will show you guys that hmm. let me Try to color in evenly, okay? Because we don't we don't know where we are going to cut, right? So we don't want areas of so the side has flattened. So I'm going to turn it around and color with the other side now. So that way I'll have a pointy side later on. If you want to make this um, like a very shiny flower what you should do is use the color next to whatever color uh, you're using color next to it in the color wheel or color next to it in the rainbow order what comes next to red orange right so let's see what will happen if i use orange in case you're using orange you can use orange or red or orange and yellow together so this is making it a little bit more nicer so this is a card that we are making right so whoever you are going to give this card you need to put all your uh, love into making this card right so that's why we are going to make it so special that's why we are using two different colors so that it will look really nice Same thing on the other side. We are not scribbling 
we are trying to go in the same direction so this has flattened i'm going to make the other side also flat that's what i do so see now both the sides are flat now i'm going to make this side flat and this side flat that way uh, my crayon will always have a pointy part it won't become bland Now I'm going to use this side. So especially when you're coloring a big area, this is going to happen, right? So rotate your crayon. See, it is nice and pointy. It, it's not like it's flattened on one side. So let me go grab some water and then I'll show you how to paint with marker, okay? So hi guys, I'm back. I just went to get my oh, markers and water and the supplies that I need. So in case you have only marker and if you think it is going to be difficult to color with a, a large area with marker, let me show you a trick, okay? Go um, get something like um, aluminum foil would be fine or a Ziploc bag or um, see, I use a mat when I'm doing art, a plastic mat. If there is, a, if it is plastic, you can use that also. Anything that will not bleed. Okay, so this one, I'm using this, okay? So you can either use an aluminum foil or a Ziploc bag, okay? And take the color, whatever color you want. Let me use the red itself. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to see what I'm doing. <laughs> so now all that you need is some water and you should also have a brush okay if you guys don't have a brush then if you have a sponge uh, what you can do is wet the sponge in water and then dip it in this and then uh, print it on the paper so I'm going to dip my brush in water okay and then I'm going to see you have made paint and then you can paint so see the trick dip in water paint and it will paint like uh, it will look like you used watercolor to paint this so you get a nice even layer I'm still using paint from side to side. I'm running out of paint here. <laughs> it's okay. I'm almost done. Okay, so um you you can turn this around and then paint the other side. Okay, once you're done. So see how much uh, paint is left over. Maybe I should make some more. So I'm just going to do the same thing. Like that. Dip my brush in some water and swirl and you have paint. Okay. So this is how you can make instant paint. Okay, so we'll have to wait for it to dry to um, do the next step. So pretend that I you have to do it on both sides. I don't wanna uh, do that right now because I can't work on this paper right now because I'm, uh, this cannot be cut right now, right? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take this paper, the paper that is colored on both the sides, and then I'm going to fold it a few times, okay? So I folded it one, two, so watch. 
one time, two times. And then I'm going to fold it again. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a heart and then cut it out. Okay, let me take this. So you can draw the heart anywhere you want, okay? But I'm going to put the heart in the corner. And then... Okay, so I'm going to cut this out. from this one maybe I can fit in a heart here how many hearts did I get one two three four five six some of my hearts are not the right shape maybe I put it together and cut it see the side is a little lopsided let me put it together and cut it and make this into a nice heart okay better I guess okay so if I need more hearts maybe I can make two more if I need two more so I can fold the paper can you see there is enough space for two more hearts here I'm just going to make eight hearts I don't know how many hearts I may need I think eight would be a good number so in case I need eight I'm not sure maybe six is also good enough but I'm not sure, so maybe I will make two more hearts from this extra paper that I have. The reason why we folded the paper is uh, because we folded, we uh, we had to cut only two eyes, right? So it's up to you if you wanna fold it and then make it, or you wanna cut each heart one at a time. That is also works, okay? But each time, see that you trace. Uh, with the first heart like all the hearts should be the same size and shape okay so you need to trace each time you do that okay so let's now grab the paper okay the base paper so let me see yeah this is a nice size so this is like a regular printer paper uh, I am going to fold this in the middle okay Hold it in the middle and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this maybe here this would be a good space place for this okay so the first heart one heart I'm going to look like glue it on the paper like a little bit above the middle okay Then what I'm going to do is with the rest of the hearts, I'm going to fold them right in the middle. One, two, three, maybe we needed only seven hearts. I don't know. We'll just glue and see. Or maybe only four. Let's see how it works, okay? I have folded all the hearts that I've made. And then what I'm going to do next is, I'm going to put the glue on top of this heart. I'm going to glue the folded one on one side, take the next one, turn it around and then glue it like that. Put glue on top of the heart. 
it's like these are like broken two pieces of heart right so what i'm doing is i'm putting gluing this down like this together so can you see it is like a 3d flower right so the more hearts you put it will look nicer so maybe i can put so that's the reason we need a few hearts so see I'm just opening the petals so the petals should be like that okay now we need to make the stem and the uh, leaves okay so for that you can draw the stem with uh, to color in you need the space to color that right so I'm going to draw the stem I'm going to draw the leaves okay then you can color inside with the crayon or whatever coloring material you're using okay i'm going to stick with the crayons itself because that's what i use for the flower so i'm going to take green and then color the stem Survey and see if you want to make more flowers for your card you can even do that also okay So again, if you want this to make it extra special, you can use um, the color next to green, the color wheel, which is blue. I'm going to use blue green to make this a little bit more shiny. If you have glitter, you can put some glitter on top of this. This is a special card, right? So. the card maybe the final one you can put one single one let me try that the last we made eight hearts right maybe I'm going to put the last one I don't I don't want to so you don't see the joint okay now let me open the petals that can be open that are not glued together see I'm opening one at a time <laughs> don't open the uh, petals that we have glued down Okay. so see the card and then inside the card you can hear you can if you want you can put another paper inside so this is I'm just taking this paper uh, so you can um, put a smaller paper maybe you can put some glue here and then 
glue it down not all around so that can be the paper that you write your message so nothing shows on the side right that would be the best way to do it so let me grab a smaller paper okay we want our card to look professional right so i'm going to grab this paper and what i'm going to do is this is a smaller paper than the one that we made so this is the paper on which you will be writing your message on okay and then i'm going to put some glue over here and write the message whatever you want um if it is for mother's day if you're making this card for your mom you can write happy mother's day love you mom maybe i'm just going to take my marker and then draw another heart inside and then color it It's up to you how you're going to do this. I'm just showing you a way. If you're making this card to um, give to a friend or a sibling who is having, uh, who's celebrating a birthday, um, you can write whatever message you want. You can write happy birthday. Um, if you are giving this to someone who, um, what is it? Someone uh, is, who's graduating um high school or college and because now you can't go out and get them a nice card right so this you can maybe make a card and give them so and also mother's day is coming up maybe you can um make this card for your mom or grandma or <laughs> somebody who you like like a mom okay so or you can give it to a mom that you like any mom what i'm saying is i'm a mom you can give it to me when you see me next time also right <laughs> so so you can write the message there whatever message best mom Love. I'm going to write my name here because I just made it, right? Okay. And then if you... So if you have used a brighter color or something, if you have pressed hard, this flower would look really nice and bright. But um, pastel colors also will look good during spring, right? So if you want, you can even write uh, a message here. Happy Mother's Day, uh, Mom, or Happy Graduation, or um, whatever message you want to write there. Okay, so this is how we make a 3D heart flower card. Okay, hope you guys have fun making it and hope uh, the person who you are giving this card enjoy the card. Uh, so till uh, we see each other next week uh, with a new project bye bye